Do you want to get the most out of your IntelliSense and document your code at the same time? Synergy DBL provides a mechanism for programmers to document their code using a special comment syntax that contains XML text. Let's take a look at how to do this in a Visual Studio solution. Here we have two very similar subroutines, MyRoutine1 and MyRoutine2. You may notice that MyRoutine2 has a descriptive block of comments above it. We'll walk through how to create XML documentation comments like this in a second, but first let's check out the IntelliSense. Back in our main line, we can start to call MyRoutine1. We can see that when we highlight MyRoutine1, we don't get any IntelliSense to help us write our code. But if we press the down arrow and highlight MyRoutine2, a tooltip that describes the purpose of the routine shows up. MyRoutine2 also gives more details about its parameters. If we start to enter parameters for MyRoutine1, we only see that we pass in a couple of alpha variables, along with their names. If we start to enter parameters for MyRoutine2, however, we see information about the routine as well as an extra description of the parameters. So now that we've seen what XML documentation comments can contribute to our IntelliSense experience, let's go back and add some comments to our first routine. We can add XML documentation comments right above MyRoutine1 by typing three semicolons followed by pressing the tab key. Then, between the two summary tags, we'll add the information we want to display when we start to type the routine. Next, we see that there's a param tag to match each parameter in the subroutine. Between these tags, we need to add a description for each parameter tag. When we're finished, we'll do a quick build, then jump back to our main line. Now when we start to type MyRoutine1, we'll see our IntelliSense information start to show up. We can also add XML documentation comments to classes, to methods, to properties, to functions, and more. In Synergy.net, XML documentation comments not only improve IntelliSense, but we can also use them to generate an XML file that can be used to create documentation for our code. We can define the location of the file in the project properties on the build tab. We'll make sure the XML documentation file box is checked then indicate where we'd like the file to be created. Visual Studio will automatically generate this file for us when we build. However, a third-party product may be needed to create documentation from the XML file. Along with the summary and param tags we saw before, there are other tags that we can use to improve the documentation. For example, the para tag is used to divide text into paragraphs. The Remarks tag supplements the information that the Summary tag provides about types or members. And the Returns tag describes the value returned from the function. Notice that all of these comments start with three semicolons. Anything that follows these semicolons will be added to the documentation comments, so make sure you place them carefully. Using this documentation comment structure can greatly improve your IntelliSense experience and, in Synergy.net, help produce code documentation that's easy to read and follow. XML documentation comments provide lots of additional features and benefits in both traditional Synergy and Synergy.net, but there are just too many to cover in this quick tips video. So that's it for now. We'll see you next time.